it's 9.30 and it's dark and it's late and I don't even know where I'm at at this point. But I heard a gunshot start going off and this dude is just running away screaming. Day four. Last night was probably the best night that I've had. I like I slept so good last night. I was gonna wake up at 6.30 and try to catch the sunrise. And I woke up and I was like, no, five more minutes. <coughs> and then before I knew it, it was like 7.15. I'm gonna go find a Starbucks get a quick coffee, and then uh, be on the way to Niagara Falls. Bro, it's a Chipotle and a Starbucks right next to each other. And this Starbucks is huge. I have no idea what this coffee was that the first place gave me. I think I just ordered it wrong. I didn't order the right coffee. But I got the right stuff now. Hour and a half left till I get to Niagara Falls. I have made it to New York. I didn't know Niagara Falls was more than just a waterfall. Like, it's just beautiful out here. I just got done at Niagara Falls and I am exhausted now. It was actually a lot of fun. It was really beautiful out there. I got to go under the waterfall. I did the little, if they call it a uh, cave of wind or something like that. And that was a lot of fun. I got soaked. Like my shoes are so wet right now. Not sure what I'm gonna do now. Probably start heading towards Maine. This was honestly a really bad idea. Driving like six more hours to find somewhere to sleep tonight. I still have about two hours left. But only thing keeping me going is YouTube videos. I currently have no idea where I'm gonna sleep tonight. It's, it's 9.30. And I have no idea where I'm gonna sleep. Like, Green Mountain National Forest is just like, it's a huge forest. Like, I'm in it right now. But, like, if I want to find somewhere to sleep, I have to drive a whole nother hour and 30 minutes. So, I don't know if I'm just gonna make the drive for it and hope I even find a camping spot there. Uh, or just, like, find a Walmart. And it's dark, it's late, and I don't even know where I'm at at this point. Yeah, I'm just gonna make the trip for it, honestly. I won't get there till 11. It's really all I can do at this point. There's no Walmarts around here. I finally made it um, to somewhere I can sleep. I, f I got to the place where I was gonna stay, but it was way too sketchy for me to stay there. I did not feel safe and I had no signal. So I just, I drove to the nearest Walmart and you can't even like overnight camp here. But it's 11, hold on, 11.47 right now. 
but yeah, like this, this is, I'm never, I'm never driving at night again. Like this is just, yeah, that's, that's it for me today, guys. Okay, I am not making this story up to you guys like whatsoever right now. Um, so I just stopped at a random Walmart parking lot because I mean, it was 12 o'clock at night and I had no idea where I was gonna sleep. I'm, I'm just lying there and I'm like half going in and out. I'm half asleep right now. And I hear two couples start arguing literally right outside of my car like right outside of it and so i woke up and i was like oh my gosh so i mean i just started praying and stuff and and then they they eventually left and then so i you know i hopped in the front seat and uh i moved my car i moved my car um into the parking lot over uh it was more isolated there wasn't as many people out over there and um and I, i'm i'm not even in the best town like it didn't it honestly did not look like the best town uh, I don't even know, I don't remember what the town was even called, if you want me to be honest. And then I go and I lay down again. And, it, I mean, it takes me a little bit to fall asleep, and I'm already on edge. Every little noise that I hear, like, you know, I'm, like, looking out my window, seeing if it's something. And then, so I, I, I can't fall asleep till about 1 o'clock. All of a sudden, I hear, like, a, a huge boom I'm talking like this boom was right next to my car like it was it was it was in front like it happened in front of my car and so you know my first instinct is to just jump up and throw on some shorts and hop to the front seat you know I'm doing this as fast as I can because I you know I, I don't know what's happening and I, I drive away I park in the Walmart parking lot and so I look in my rear view mirror that, that's when I saw like two people start walking to the sound like what like where the sound came from But as soon as I saw two people start walking over there. I was like, no, I I, I got to get out of here So I, I hopped on my phone. I looked up, you know closest Walmart because I was just gonna go to the next Walmart down the road and uh, So while I'm looking this up I hear this dude start yelling and like screaming to the top of his lungs and he's running away down the road so as he's running down the road I hear a gunshot go off but I heard a gunshot start going off and this dude is just running away screaming and then so I man I, I got out of there as soon as I could like that was the scariest moment I've ever had in my entire life I'm not even joking like, I, I'm, I almost broke down in tears. Like, I'm almost in tears right now. You guys just can't tell. Now I'm just driving to the most nearest Walmart. Because I, like, I, I don't know where else to go at this point. 